quit acting stupid. With Bobby, Sammy, Brody, and Andy. Hey, I think we did it right. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Quit Acting Stupid. I am your host, Jamie Paredes, and joining me as always are my brothers, Bobby, Rudy, and Andrew. Say hello, fellas. Hello, fellas. Oh. Or not. Or not. Just sit there. Um, hello? Can you hear me? I don't think yes. you can see us. <laughs> okay. Can you hear us? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Andrew said it. Yeah, Andrew okay. said hello right away. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Ooh, boy. All right. I'm, I'm just excited that we actually did the opening the correct way. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah, but then we fumbled through everything else. So it only no, uh, you, you're you're fumbling. Yeah, no, it went perfectly. No, I'm saying, how are you doing, fellas? And everybody, and then we, no, we responded right away. So you're just okay. Just maybe I just can't hear you two then. Maybe let's just keep uh, moving. because of my. Uh, Internet issues. Should I blame that on yeah. the internet as well? Do you want to tell the people why we didn't record last night? We did not record last night because, uh, as my tagline says, I hate the internet. It was, I, I've, been, I've been having issues with the internet ever since we started this podcast, right? I mean, I think that's basically, yeah, which is like almost a year. Kind of. Um, Pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah. so, yeah, I got uh, Google Fiber coming out next week. Uh, to save me from T-Mobile when, yeah, I don't know. The last ditch effort tomorrow, I'm going to go up to uh, the T-Mobile store and try to switch out my router. We'll see how that goes. But uh, no yeah, problem. so uh, I've just gotten off the phone, what, 45 minutes, I think I was on with, with them trying to work through things while you guys were sitting here waiting for me to record tonight. And last night, I think we just called it quits. We're like, it wasn't happening. Um, so yeah, so I'm in a great mood. Great move. Bottom, bottom line is you can't trust uh, Zach Braff and Donald Faison. Yeah. Don't ever make us again. The bucks at T-Mobile. Yeah, that's a good voice. Now oh, I actually believe. Beautiful morning. Do you okay. know what? Do you know what musical that's from? I don't. I, I can't don't. tell you. No interest. Tell me. Oh, Oklahoma. <laughs> Ew, I hate it even more. Um, the Sooners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, let's talk sports then. Let's talk sports. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so last we left, Jamie, you said, I'm going to start watching these Royals. I'm, I'm going to. That next day, they had an afternoon game. And I'm like, perfect. I'll have it while I'm working. It'll be kind of background noise. Granted, I didn't end up turning it on until I think they were in like the third or fourth inning. They were already up. They were up like. Four two or something, some crazy like that. I was like, "All right, cool. This is this is cool. This it was nice. I was getting my work done. I could hear a little Royal Royals in the background. It's pretty cool." And then uh, little by little, the lead started slipping away, and I'm like, "Okay, I remember why I don't, I can't watch base, but I, I, I get too caught up. Like, ev- like I hang on every pitch, ev- or like every batter. You know, somebody's somebody gets a single. I'm like, "All right, all right, great." And then somebody flies out. I'm like, "Ah, oh, these guys suck." Like it's like it's a roller coaster. Me watching baseball, it's yeah. I can't do uh, the 162 game marathon. I'm used to a, a 12 game college football. Every single play <laughs> means everything. So yeah, and they ended up losing. That's been me for the last week. Uh, living and dying with each pitch, and oh, these guys suck. And uh, as I've been texting my buddies Jeff and Jason Barton, like, man, these guys blow. What are they doing? You know, and. It's it's been absolutely uh, terrible, and it's all happened because you started watching them. You blew yeah, it. Uh, I, I I take full credit for that. Um, yeah, I'll let you take the credit, even fun. though I was uh, worried. I was I actually said last week that I was worried I was jinxing them with my tagline first place in the central. Um, that I, could have done I, it I felt, as well. Yeah, I felt a little responsible, but I've been I've been fine putting it on Jamie's shoulders. Yeah, well, they they Actually, got the they got the. Go ahead, what? No, I was just gonna say I think I am going to change my tagline um, to something a little okay. more accurate. Yes. There we go. Okay, go ahead. Perfect. Hold on, I couldn't see what it was before. It says the Uh-oh, jinx. Yeah. 
Yeah, what was it before? No, well, I hate the internet. 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 (laughs) Now now he's Robert Durst. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so the Royals got a win tonight. So, um, you know, it's it's important to mention they won tonight. That's the first win since the last time we recorded. They won. They won last Tuesday when we recorded. I've lost every night since until tonight. So <laughs> maybe we need to record every night. Uh, yeah. Until October. <laughs> Either that, or uh, we need to get our first baseman uh, another thumb. Yeah. Um, Vinny. So let me. Yeah. Let me ask you Go guys, ahead. and I know we didn't discuss this, but. But um, kind of along the lines of what we talked about last week with, or was it last week where we talked about who we'd want to put on the Royals, this year's Royals yeah, team? Yeah, last week. Yeah. Um, what, uh, and I know Rudy, you're a big superhero nerd. What superhero would you uh, have take the place of uh, Pasquantino for this Royals? Like, who do you think, like, like you wouldn't want the Hulk to pl- replace no. him at first base because he'd probably be poor with the uh, footwork, right? Um, yeah, you would think he'd be poor with the footwork. How about wouldn't like just in the I'm not I haven't thought about this at all, but like Ant Man strike zone would be minuscule. Like his on base percentage would be through the roof. He'd walk every time. What is this guy? Is this guy small or something? Like he would be bad at yeah. first base. Like he would would he be able? To, he wouldn't like uh, uh, he wouldn't be able to catch the ball. Like defensively, he would be a liability. The ball he would be, be a liability, like, but uh, the, he can. He, he right. changes sizes. He changes sizes. He can go to giant man, to ant man, and then to he's regular size man. That so would really come about, in handy on the base path, I think. You know, avoiding tags, uh, sliding the second. If you just make yourself smaller, right? Now, what right. about? Hey, let me, let me, let me. What do you think of this? What about Mrs. Incredible? Um, how she stretches so she could get any wild throw. That's what I was she thinking. could, right? Technically, she could steal the base without any risk because she would just stick her leg from first base to second base. She would never leave first base. But this is incredible. You're you talking about El- Elastigirl? Is that okay? What you're that's Elastigirl. Girl, yeah. I'm yeah. sitting here going, yeah. "Wait a minute! Isn't her name Elastigirl?" All right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I was when you said that. I was like, maybe this is somebody I've never heard of. But then I realized, <laughs> but Incredible's wife. We've actually been watching The Incredibles a lot the last couple of days. Vanessa just strangely put that on, and now we've she's watched both movies like nonstop the last couple of days. So I'm very familiar with Elastigirl and Fro- Frozone. Frozen. So I will <laughs> say though, Elastigirl uh, playing with the Royals. I mean, she'd be the first female in MLB. So let's be a little more realistic. I would go with Plastic Man or Mr. Fantastic, who have kind of the same um, stretch abilities as Elastigirl, but they're actually real, you know? I mean, so, you know, Elastigirl's just Pixar invented. That would be, Um, now that would be nerdy. (laughs) That would be nerdy. So I would say Mr. Fantastic in the Marvel Universe or Plastic Man in the DC Universe. I would say, what about Wolverine? Doesn't he have like the ability to, um, or I guess maybe Deadpool? But don't are those the guys that ha- can like heal themselves very quickly? Because that's what happens. I'm a nerd, like. and uh, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of it. I just got to that drop. I was like, why has somebody not played that drop yet? <laughs> but I was wondering where you were going with that with Wolverine and Deadpool. But yeah, they do uh, they do heal themselves pretty quickly. So that that could you know just get the thumb fixed right up so uh, yeah good call good, good call yeah so uh, go ahead andrew go ahead rudy oh no no i think we're doing the same thing so why don't, why don't yeah i think so too just moving on to uh to uh if you see my tagline it's the night before chiefs miss guys and uh all through Merry the house <laughs> keep keep going with this nerdy oh, nerdy oh. crap can we all just enjoy the game tomorrow? I mean, but I, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and there's going to be reports of people. People are in line now, I bet, at Arrowhead, you know, with their grills in tow. Like, I'm going to get the, I'm gonna gonna get wake the meme up tomorrow. In, you're going to get the meme right. in the morning. It's going to say, good morning to everyone except Baltimore. That's what I was getting <laughs> ready to say. I was going to say, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and say good morning to everybody except for Ravens fans. Oh boy! <laughs> um, well, I love how you say, "Can't we all just enjoy the game?" When I think they're all going to be enjoying the game, but it's really just, 
can we all just enjoy the game the way I enjoy the, the game? way I do it? Not yeah. nerdy. Although I just, I just had a run where I was nerding out humongously on superheroes, but can we not be nerds about football? Like, let's just, it's like, let's be cool about it guys. Like, I'm a nerd doing? and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. It's like, it's like football's my only sanctuary from all the nerds in my life. Why are you I'm in a glass nerds? case of emotion. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm, I'm in it, a glass man. case of emotion. Who you hit it? My hands are up I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna blame Jamie because nope. he's got the bad internet. Yeah, because I just play. Is it did it that glass case of emotion thing play? Yeah, twice. Nice. Yeah, because I couldn't hear it. It doesn't make a sound for me for some reason. Anyway, oh, no. maybe you I, should. May, maybe until. Yeah, until you get your internet figured out, maybe you should refrain from any drops. This will be good for you. Yeah, yeah it's like a timeout. Like you're in this the penalty the corner. box. Well, it's like when you lose one sense, all the other senses are supposed to become heightened. So now maybe yeah. you'll have something to add. Right. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, big game tomorrow. Big game tomorrow. We're going to have uh, all the memes tomorrow morning. Um. Have you guys gotten any new uh, Chief songs lately? I, I, I texted you guys all the new one that I that I found, didn't I? But nobody responded to it. Maybe didn't I, don't, I don't remember getting one. Yeah, I, I sent it on the on the group text with JJ, like us four uh, and JJ, and there was a Chief song that I saw on Twitter, and it's just a rap song, and it, I mean it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't embarrassing or anything like that. It was just another Chief song. I mean, it wasn't like a. Um, what do you call it? A um, what do you call it? Like Weird Al Yankovic style. Parody. Yeah, it wasn't a parody song. It wasn't a parody. It was just an original rap song, and it was fine. It was fine, but it's just another Chief song, man. I'm I'm ready for for another Chief song. How about well, you guys? Um, I for one, I'm going to really enjoy um, Taylor Swift being at the game tomorrow because we probably only have a few more games for her to continue to show up. I mean, obviously, you heard the news today. That uh, on September 28th, they, her, she and Travis, Kelsey are going to break up. So, uh, yeah, well, I, I didn't hear any of this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. There was a it was, only, there was a report. So let me tell you, there was a report that uh, there was a, a post on Reddit that purported to show an actual PR plan in response to when they break up on September 28th, and it was it ended up being. A fraud. They actually had to have no. uh, Travis Kelsey's people had to actually get out there and his real PR team and say, "Are you this, serious?" Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. he had to get like lawyers and stuff. Like he's he's getting say, lawyers involved in. Yeah. But it does lead me to think like, what's going to happen if they actually do break up? Like, is are people going to go mad? I think people are going to go insane. Like in Kansas when City, they do. When they do, I don't know. They might mean you don't believe in happily ever after, Jamie. <laughs> well, if those two kids don't make it, I don't know what chance there is for any of us. Other people. first, 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 the fat boys break up. Now, this <laughs> the whole world gone crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it was it was but, it was uh, all we at least, uh, a hoax. Well, at least she's gonna be to around here on quite our... a bit, she, she's moving in. Yeah, look, we got, we got people in our neighborhood. We got ready. these women. For those of you on Spotify, for everyone on Spotify, we're showing a little video of uh, the women uh, cleaning up the plaza because because Taylor Swift's moving in. We got to get this place spick and span. So, you know what um, this video tells me is that because these people work for like a mortgage company or something, I'm like. Uh -huh. Business must be bad for them right now. I mean, yeah. for them to have time to go out and get brooms and vacuums out on the plaza. I mean, don't you have to work? Aren't you embarrassed? I mean, she was vacuuming. Like, the, basically saying we she, have no work to do. She was vacuuming the sidewalk. Where was that vacuum plugged in at? Yeah. Did she have <laughs> she a portable? A, yeah, portable <laughs> extension cord. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I, maybe it was on their lunch break, Jamie. You don't know. It's probably uh, on their lunch break. I guess. I guess. I I'm finding a, out all this. Go ahead. 
Well, I, I, it's interesting you said. I, I have a friend who's a realtor, and I I just I was on her uh, social media, and I guess her and her team like they do their own like little uh, series of videos, like like as if they're like some e property show you know where they're playing characters like like it's a reality show but it's like they're and i and i thought the same thing i'm just like they had to shut the office down like everybody that works is here doing this playing characters and who's this for like i don't know imagine i think it's just imagine ahead, if you're the, the receptionist or something and you're sitting there like i gotta sit here and work while these freaking morons go out and act stupid all day long like thinking up videos when i'm actually working and trying to oh i'd be pissed hey, it kind of makes hey, you want to it kind of makes you want to say quit acting stupid, quit stupid. Right. i right. think they to need a fair. guy to work in that office no i mean to tell them you're acting stupid is that bad yeah that, that's what they need is a that's guy <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're really endearing us to well, any, no, I mean, any not, email I mean, viewers I mean, or listeners we have a, a guy to tell them like Look, that's stupid. Just uh, stop mean, right there. Whenever you when, say when the you... words, a guy to tell them, stop. <laughs> Just stop talking right there. They need a guy <laughs> to tell them. No, they don't need a guy to tell them anything. Just stop. You should well, look, just you know, hear yourself right now. I mean, stop talking. Well, here, okay, like my job, there's like four guys and one female. I was going to say chick, but one female. Um, He's just gonna we don't talk to each other. You saved it there, buddy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we no i'm saying we we don't talk to each other we just work like we don't care about what the other person's doing we don't care about their family like we just work like no. work 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 all day long <laughs> work work know. work whatever she works a lot for her money I quit. um <laughs> i'm not going i'm not going i quit <laughs> I'm not going with you on that one, Jamie. Sorry, you're on right, an island. You're, you're, you're on an island. island. I'll be out on that limb myself. I think this is where I have to say the views expressed by Jamie Pradish do not represent those of uh, Bobby D, hey, Rudy, hey. or Andy, and uh, you know should not be. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, hey, if, I just, if Taylor, mira, 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 Donald Trump, just tell it like it is. Huh? Just <laughs> no. <laughs> No. And now he wants to no. like if it, like if telling women wasn't uh, the worst part. Now he wants to get into politics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's I'm bring stay, in Donald. I'm staying Trump. away from that too, but hey, I Donald Trump. Like uh, hey, you want you want to talk religion too while we're at it? <laughs> Donald yes. Trump did uh, thank thank Brittany Mahomes for her support. So that's all I'll say about that. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Hey, if Taylor Swift, like if they like break so. up, her and go ahead. What? No, no, it was a dumb joke. If Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey broke up, then how would we get to do this? Like, how would we? What the hell is that? <laughs> what? what do you mean? I've never the... seen this. See, you guys, we after the sh after the last show, we got off and we had a discussion about Twitter and how you guys know all this current events types of things. Current and even. I don't because you taught me and you guys taught me about this Twitter machine um that i'm not involved with and um yeah where do you find it, it? it's, it's i'm just scrolling twitter. you're not Everyone. you're not following the right people on twitter cuz i saw twitter, that picture man. i saw that picture on yeah, twitter so uh and then andrew texted me last night he sent it to me and i'm like yeah we got we got to put this on the show that is great <laughs> for for that those is, of you for those of you on spotify it was what a Pick of the Wizard so of Oz, but Taylor Swift was Dorothy, and oh god, I can't even. I can't even. Travis, Kelsey. Travis Kelsey is the is the Tin Man. Patrick Mahomes is the Scarecrow. Oh. And who, that's, who do you think? Who do you think? Who do you think would be the the, the lion? Yeah, yeah. So 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 those of you on Spotify, I haven't said who the line was. Who would you think the line would be on Spotify? Um, you know, there's only one person it could be, right? Should be a walrus, really. Andy Reid, oh, like for those of you there. listening on Spotify. I'm sick. That, but, that, um, I'm sick looking at that picture. Yes. I'm I was trying to <laughs> I'm trying to ruin your opening day tomorrow. Like so I'm trying and, to come up with the goofiest chief stuff. Because you know it's out there. And Andrew, all what I'm gonna it? say. Well, all I'm gonna say is whoever spent the time doing that Photoshop, they're having fun, guys. They're enjoying the Chiefs' success. They're enjoying I the dynasty them. too. I hate their fun. <laughs> 
it's stupid. It's not Andrew. It's also, fun. he also sent me. I think it was Sunday Night Football that put it out yeah, on Instagram. It was some sort of NFL official thing. But it was a it was a picture of here. I can pull it up real quick and show it to you guys. But it was a picture of Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes. And um, what did it say? Damn it, I can't find it. What did it say, Andrew? It said defending the castle. And it and it looked like it was something straight out of Game of Thrones. Like it, uh, you know, they were in a medieval castle type thing. And again, it just mixing that metaphor of the uh, here it is right here, Rudy. Um, I got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's Come just on, guys. like mixing that metaphor. I said, Rudy, it's like, you know, all those uh, castles that every tribe has. Uh, yeah, I'm so confused. Defend the castle. What ca- that was my first. I didn't even think about it for a second, but I asked you. I texted you right back. I'm like, "What castle? What are they talking about?" I just I don't. Don't chiefs it's always kingdom. in castles? Oh, boy. Listen, we, go, chiefs, guys. We, got, we got we got we got a long season ahead of us. We need to pace ourselves we do. because this will be a regular. No, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. It's stupid. <laughs> Should we defend the TP? Yes. Defend the, defend yes. The, the, the Red Red Kingdom. Quentin, this is for you. No, he does with two hands. <laughs> I'm tomahawk, tomahawk chopping. Um, yeah, no, man. Um, you well, guys excited tried. about the game? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm just yeah, ready. I'm, I'm excited to see like, a play that, uh, uh, that Taylor. I hope, I hope we get to see a play that Taylor drew up. Oh yeah, Taylor. Don't, uh, Patrick Mahomes. I'd be more excited if it was on a at noon on a Sunday. It's just something about um, Thursday night games where I have to cut out at halftime to go put to go read with Avery and put her to bed and hope that she falls asleep before third quarter starts. So that's my that's my enjoyment of. I understand uh, that too. I do I do the halftime bed bed stories as well, but then I'm like, all right, that's it. I'm done. Yeah, I'm going back. I started. I started. I started to uh, tell Avery she didn't have to read on uh, games. Last year's Eagles game. Sleep. Hold on, Jamie. You sound like Cubert. We- you remember when? You remember when Cubert? <laughs> remember when Cubert used to talk? <laughs> and it had question marks and hashtags, and that's what you sound like. Just there for it. We, we had you up to- until. Yeah, it seems, said, it seems okay now. Go ahead. Yeah, I think you're back. Try it again. I said last year's Eagles game, um, I was laying in bed with her and I fell asleep and woke up and had to ask you guys what happened uh, <laughs> through text. Oh, I uh, remember that. Yeah, yeah I well, remember that. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I agree with you about the Sunday noon thing just because that's what we did for so long. And when the Chiefs were not oh, yeah. very good, like that's where you they played every – uh, every every week, but right. now that they're good, they always play in prime time, which is kind of cool. And it's funny because I think outside of our family, everyone else, not everyone else, but a lot of people prefer that because if you're going to the game, you don't have to get there as early. You can be, you can, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to get there at five in the morning for a seven o'clock game. Uh, I think people like the dinner time vibe. You know, I don't know. So yeah, the, the, the only thing I'll say the next day. Apparently they're not yeah. going to work the next day anyway. They're out sweeping the plaza and doing stupid stuff. But what, you don't what, take what, every I, Monday I, off during the season. I will say that yeah. uh, with my with my work schedule, um, Thursday night games and Sunday noon games are the only ones I can see where I'm not at work. So Sunday three o'clock games, Sunday night games, Monday night games. I'm at work watching it in a. I've got crappy Wi-Fi there, so it's hit and miss. I got to stay in one spot to watch it. So I kind of look forward to Thursday games. Now I do work early Friday morning, so I can't, it's not like I can go to the games and stay out. I would have to take off the next day, I think. But, um, so, but, but I, I'll at least get to watch it here. And like you said, food wise, I'll get some, maybe get some pizza, get some wings and uh, yeah, I'll have a good time. Yeah. Go, going back to, uh, going back to lane with our kids. I, I think it was the bills game, the playoff game. What was that? The, um, Right before the AFC Championship, uh, yeah. the Bills game, it was it was in it was late or something. I remember I was in bed with Avery, and I think my phone died too. To top it all off, 
So I was out. <laughs> I could not see anything that was going on. I knew like the game was about over. <clears throat> and all I heard were uh, fireworks outside. I was like, ooh, I guess they won. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <it> was, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. Nice. I still haven't seen well, the uh, end of it. I think uh, we all feel pretty confident that the Chiefs are going to win tomorrow. Do you guys have any predictions, score predictions, or do you think it's going to be close? Do you, how do you think the game's going to go? Hey. I don't know. Um, I really don't know anything about any of them. All I know is that uh, I have Derrick Henry, and I need him to uh, have a big game tomorrow. Well, Andrew, Andrew, you said that we're all pretty confident they're going to win. Are you guys confident that they, this is a W? I'm not. I'm not either. Uh, I I am only because of their history against the Ravens. Like they've only lost okay. one game to the Ravens in the you know, I, since Lamar Jackson's been there, since Mahomes has been there. I'm I'm pretty confident, but it's mainly because we're playing at home. It's uh, opening night. You know they're unveiling no, the banner. We aren't. No, we are. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm in, I'm a, man. I'm a, I got my jersey on. So are y'all you you're all see separate game yet? Oh, okay. See my tagline. I'm part of the Red Kingdom. Maybe you uh, weren't. What, what position do you play? Left play, out. Uh, <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Left, Left out. out. <laughs> what is, he, what, he, plays, he plays uh, end, uh, what is it, uh, end guard and tackle. He sits on the end of the bench, guards the water, and tackles anybody that comes near it. Yep, that's Bob. No, yeah, um, I, considering I actually played college football, but anyway, we'll uh, save uh, that for another day. I will say, Rudy, uh, I'm, not yeah, confident. I'm not confident enough to like put any money on it, like to bet on this game at all, really, right, or right. to pick it in Survivor or, you know, my fantasy. I got a lot of Chiefs on my fantasy, my different teams, so I'm rooting for them there. But I don't know. I you just have think that. Uh, about Chiefs? Just, no, I have a bunch of Chiefs. I made sure to like get a little bit of the Chiefs offense on all my in all of my leagues. So I got a lot to play there. But, um, but yeah, I just I don't just looking at their history. I feel I feel why shouldn't I be confident that they beat the the Ravens? I don't know. Yeah, I think I saw a stat maybe, and it doesn't sound right to me. But it's Patrick Mahomes five and one in his last I, I, opening day. I, if that's a thing, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying I'm doubtful, but uh, it's gonna be a good game. It's gonna be close. I'm sure. I mean, yeah. I don't I don't think they're gonna run away with it or anything. But I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Should be a good Did you game. guys get uh, today? Today's uh, Red Wednesday. Did you guys get your McDo flags at McDonald's? Uh, yeah. I did not get one in person. Like uh, Kaylee was going to get one for us, but they were already sold out by the time she got in line. Now, so they, that's a so they, that's at the McDonald's here, though. I think I think her cousin got a few like some extra ones. To, I, I don't know why I'm pointing, but uh, down in uh, like Harrisonville area. I went to three. I went to three different McDonald's, asking them, "Y'all got some of them Chiefs flags?" No, oh no, baby, they was gone this morning. So yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, no luck, no luck. Um, but I might. I guess you can. You can. You can order one online for ten bucks. I'm like, why does the price double? Which I guess it's a donation, but donation. Still, I thought it was a trash. I thought it was a trash. Don't be hitting on me. I, they were five bucks this morning. Now they're ten bucks online, but. I don't work on Wednesday, so I'm sleeping till you know. I don't even get up till ten. I mean, come on. So no, so I did not. Day, get so the day after the Chiefs play, uh, Friday evening, the the uh, NFL is uh, playing. I think it's uh, their first regular season game in Brazil. It's going to be the Eagles and the Packers. Is that right? Yeah, Eagles Packers. Yes. And they both teams have been told not to wear green. Is this true that the, the teams have been told not to wear green out in public? Well, they were um, told they couldn't wear green on the field. Like they had to come up with different uniform options. Like they couldn't wear green on the field either. And the reason is because that is the color of one of the gangs there in Brazil. Is that right? Am yeah, I there's a Brazilian there? gang. Uh, they're called the uh, Greenies. And uh, I'm just I'm making that up. I was going to see <laughs> I was going to see if you guys would go along with me. The the greeny meanies. <laughs> the mean greens. Um, <laughs> look at us making fun of a Brazilian they, gang. They were the 12th Street Greens. <laughs> the 12th Street <laughs> Greens. Um, but anyway, um, 
Yeah, so they're they're not allowed. They weren't allowed to wear green. I, Andrew, you were saying something. They came up with some kind of. Was that you that said I'm, it? Or? I did. I'm googling it just to make sure because I knew what you were saying. That was definitely the word a while ago. But I thought they had gotten the okay or something. I know what I've I, been from what, from what I just googled was that no soccer team down there wears green. They they are banned from wearing green. Yeah, what I've been reading though is that they're, the NFL's told all the players to like don't leave your hotel rooms like. And I'm like, why would you even put your players in danger like that? I know you want to grow, but maybe go back down there when times are a little bit, you know, not as volatile. And I think a lot of the players are not happy about going there. Uh, I think AJ Brown spoke out about it. He didn't want to go. Um, It just, just just because of the gang. uh, There's safety concerns besides the wearing of the colors. Um, so the NFL has beefed up security. Um, and, and it's just like the NFL, right? I mean, to uh, not have done their homework to find out that, uh, you know, the green is the color of one of the big gangs down there. And yet to uh, prepare a game of two teams whose primary colors, is, one of their primary colors is green. That's just Yeah, why wouldn't you send like the Lions and the Chiefs right, or something? Right. Yeah. Yeah, so here's, here's what I, from the Eagles Twitter account, it's supposed to be black and white is what they're wearing tomorrow. Yeah, I figured they'd wear their blacks. Um but so, yeah, it's not it's, it's not, it's, so, not yeah. it's not easy being green, am I right? <laughs> oh, it's a Kermit Kermit. Frog. That's our Kermit. Um, um yeah. But it is interesting that the NFL didn't think about that ahead of time because I I don't remember somebody, some NFL rep was talking about this on the radio about how they've predetermined what uh, franchises they're marketing in what countries, you know, like that's oh, really? why like the chief. Yeah. That's why like the chiefs played in Germany. Cause they're like, they're like pushing the chiefs in Germany, you know, like they, the chiefs. They, and they don't want to, they don't want to double up anybody, you know? So like all these diff, all the teams have their set international areas that they're supposed to be reaching out to, but why would the you chiefs. assign the, the Eagles and the Packers to that place? Right. Yeah. Right. The Chiefs have kind of played all over, though. They played Germany. They played Mexico. They played, they played that's all true over. They have, but I think the that's yeah. And I think that's it. I think because like now they're trying to go to Africa. I think is some places they're trying to get I to. Or, well, yeah, it's gonna be yeah a game South America. South America. America. Isn't there? There's Maybe some kind it. of record. There's some kind of record that Kelsey has where he's caught the most touchdowns in different countries because he's played in like I want to say four or five different countries. Um. Well, I just, yeah, I, think, I just remember I think like Mexico, Germany, and London are the only ones I can think of, or are the places abroad that they went. I think there's one other one, and then the United States, of course. But um, yeah, I don't know. But oh. anyway, um, yeah. So that I just I found that kind of weird. I I feel it like that weird. puts those those teams in a weird position. Like, okay, we got to get ready and focused for week one, but we've got all this other crap to worry about. I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be happy about it if that was my team but. playing on a Friday, number one. I mean that, and then so that you got the different travel schedule, and you got to worry yep. about the safety. I saw that on Twitter too. They their team doctor said that they needed to stay awake the whole flight. Like you got to plan your sleep patterns because yeah. one, they're playing on a Friday night, but it's a it's a long flight, and yeah, so it's just gonna throw everybody off. So I don't know. I would think they would have gotten out there. Well, I guess because things are so bad, you wouldn't want to get out there early, but I don't know how their bodies are going to adjust or what, but we'll see, man. It's not my team. <laughs> my team, so. So, um, for this week, uh, let's see, I haven't I haven't seen you guys in a couple of weeks because I've been gone. Let's see. Uh, this past weekend, uh, Labor Day weekend, I, I didn't get a chance to hang out with you guys because I was uh, busy taking my kid, Xavier, uh, moving down to Dallas. First, uh, First grandchild to kind of permanently move away from Kansas City. So uh he'll be back had, in a couple months. <laughs> he'll be back in a couple I will months. say I will say Miranda lived in Seattle for about four months, five months. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That's why I was uh, kind of proceeding very cautiously because as I was I was thinking about that. But yeah, I, I, that wasn't really at the time that wasn't a permanent move, was it? For her? It was at the time. Uh but, but it, they came only they came back. Point. Four yeah, months. they came back prematurely. Um, but yeah, but anyways, go ahead. I mean, I'm uh, I'm not one of the grandkids, but obviously, I feel like I'm being overlooked here for living in Chicago for five years. 
Granted, right. granted, for that was school, but then I stayed another year and a half afterwards. So, yeah, we're talking, we're talking granny kids here, bud. I'm just kidding. No, that's right, you did. I, I, that's right, you did. You were gone, but I, and I actually forgot that you were gone a, a year after graduation too. Yeah, about a year and a half, uh, and I came back the next, the following summer, the following fall. So we uh, loaded up the truck and drove him down there on a Saturday and um, got him all settled in. And it's kind of an interesting place where he's at. It's really close to his work so he can walk. Uh, it's a nice, nice neighborhood, but it's just kind of interesting. You, you know, something you don't typically see here, although I guess you're seeing a little bit more here in Kansas City is, you know, just having. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of homelessness everywhere in this country, but, uh, you know, you're you're for the most part, you weren't seeing it in places like Johnson County. Although, like I said, recently now I'm seeing it out here in Johnson County. You'll have people hanging out on the uh, off ramps asking for, you know, anything that you could give. And so, um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting thing. You down there, you've got young professionals that are living downtown in some very expensive, uh, apartments and houses. And then, um, you know, you've got, uh, you know, pretty bad homeless population there. So I was just surprised I guess when when we went to Target, um, you, you've got all these young professionals, young kids in their twenties and thirties, and you know they're they're walking around getting what they need at Target. But inside of Target, there was also a um, a guy who I have to assume was maybe homeless. He was standing in the aisle, and he had a uh, like a Stouffer's frozen meal, and he was asking people to buy him the meal. And he's doing this inside the Target. So I, I'm just like, wow, you, you you wouldn't really see that. I don't think you'd see that in Kansas City, or you you have seen that anywhere around here. But probably. So it's just kind of interesting how money. I, in our town, you know, it's sort of like segmented. You know, you know what you're going to get when you go out to the suburbs, to Liberty, you know, to uh, Olathe, Lenexa. You know, you you know what you're going to get. And then you know, if you go downtown on an off ramp, there's a good chance that you're going to have somebody you know asking you for money. Here, it's like it was all in the same location. So um, I have to tell a funny story real quick, and uh, hopefully he didn't kill me for, for telling this. But the day after we left him, or maybe it was two days after we left him, uh, he went to Aldi's to go get uh, to get food. And if you've been to Aldi's before, you know you got to stick your quarter in the shopping cart to uh, get it to unlock. So he had uh, finished shopping, had his quarter still in the, in the thing. And um, when he came out of the store... I guess there was a lady that wanted to use his cart and he being the kind soul that he is, he gave the lady his cart and she proceeded to take that cart and uh, just kind of walk down the street. So she stole the cart and stole his quarter. And, you know, he's, I think the, the, the comment he made was, uh, boy, I'm too soft for this city or something like that. So yeah, so she said. I said, you're, uh, you're lucky uh, you, you technically aided and abetted with her uh, stealing that, that shopping cart. So I thought you were going to say she took the cart from him, turned it in, and took his cart. Like, yeah, I got your quarter. <laughs> like, no. that would have. She just took the cart. I thought he was going to, like, hound her about getting his quarter back. <laughs> yeah. Can I have my quarter back? Um, I said, yeah. so not only did you awkwardly lose following her. You caused the you caused all these to lose their cart, but you also lost your quarter in the process. But uh, no, he's uh, I'll have to share some pictures at some point. But uh, yeah, we got him all set up, and uh, he starts work on Friday. He's all grown up. How's the? Uh, so does he know anyone down starts there? Work on a Friday. Starts work on a Friday. He but it's virtual. He's going to do it virtually, he's and then uh, Monday of next week. What a week! <laughs> really putting in the overtime, isn't he? That one day. I don't know why they're starting him on a Friday, but uh, come Monday, uh, he's off to Orlando for training. So we just barely moved him into Dallas, and now he's going to be off to Orlando for a week. A little baby's uh, all grown up. Know. He knows uh, a, a small number of people, and um, okay. I've helped by looking online. I found him a, a bar there in town that is a Chiefs bar where he can go and watch the game tomorrow night, and uh, I suspect there's going to be some people there that – or local. Um, he said he did see some Missouri plates in the uh, parking garage where he parks his car, but both of the vehicles had KU Jayhawk uh, license plate Ew. covers. So, hey yeah. man, 
you gotta you know just adapt to your surroundings and you know yeah gotta get some friends man gotta get some friends under that belt but uh, good for him man so so it's just him he's living by himself right and is it an apart it's an apartment it's an apartment yep okay so we had uh, to we had to move in uh saturday we were carrying some stuff and we had to have somebody stay down with the truck because uh even though there were you know young ladies and young men walking their dogs um he also told us that somebody had been mugged there once before so yeah that's where it's just kind of he... weird it's just interesting does he know how to cook anything or like fend for himself at all? Yeah, he actually can cook Un a lot. Unlike his father, he 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 definitely can cook more than his father can. So yeah, he can cook a meal. In fact, okay. In fact, tonight he was calling Anita and asking her about, uh, I guess, cooking some salmon on some uh, cedar planks. Ew. So, cedar planks. Why guys, act like a normal. Why don't you be a normal kid and just throw some mac and cheese cups in the microwave or something? He's all, he's also I started of ramen. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Easy Mac. A lot of sodium. Spaghetti. Chef Boyardee. Spaghetti in a can. Spaghetti. Hey, you mentioned right, one lesson. Like, just want to not to sidetrack the whole situation because this is about Xavier. But um, I got a text from Manny uh, today, and. Uh, he just said week one, and he sent me this. Look at that, Spotify. I'm holding what, up a what, picture. What, what are we looking at here? Is, are those desserts? It looks like. Yep. Desserts. He, are those there's rolls? There's some, eggs. There's some rolls. There's some biscuits and some muffins in there. He made all those week right. one. Oh. That looks legit. That looks legit. Like like legit food. So um, good. For anyways, you. when you when you just but asked if Xavier noticed. can cook, uh, that that just. I oh, thought he was going to say Go he made eggs because they look like eggs. I thought he was going to say I made eggs and it was just like an egg, like an literally egg an sitting egg. on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I no, noticed he uh, didn't eat any of those. He just made them and took pictures of them and sent them to you. No, he, he ate them. He wants me to try them. He um he wants to bring them over. Um, Very good. But yeah, no, he that was just right after, you know, they finished out of the oven. I think he had a partner with him. So well, sure as his godfather, I need to get him. Uh, I need to get him a big chef hat. So he did tell me that he had to get his um his he got his button up white coat and he said he was hoping for a big tall chef's hat but it's more of a skull cap kind of thing so not not enough How's room gonna... to put a rat under there oh, um, I wish you would have stopped talking you stole my joke <laughs> I, I I heard it coming how's it gonna fit as a rat under Bobby, there? as soon as Bobby mentioned a hat I was like I'm waiting for my end to say make sure it's tall enough to put a mouse or a rat under it Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to step on it. But uh, yeah, so I told, I've, I've been asking him for a week, send me a picture of you in the coat, but he hasn't yet. But anyway. Tell, Sorry. Tell his, next, his next pictures need to be him actually, you know, stirring the batter or, you know, doing something. Anybody, I mean, this whole class is going to have finished products. He could have taken that picture from anybody. True, oh, yours, very true. Yours look, yours look better than mine. Let me take a picture of yours. Exactly. Yeah, I got, we, I got to send my the same thing. I got to send a picture to my dad so he knows I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to hijack that. It's about Xavier, but you said that and I it just clicked because he had sent me that picture today. So good yeah, that was He's good. Doing we, uh, the kids are all grown up. They're all going to school and getting careers and living on their own. Mm -hmm. And yes, Tom Xavier can cook. Because uh, you're grown up and you're grown up and you're grown up. Never eaten anything he's cooked, but yeah, he definitely can cook more than So that. when I was looking... I was looking for that picture and did I hear something about a cedar plank? Wait, what, <laughs> what the hell? What? You don't, what know does what he a need? A... Is? No, is it yeah, me? Uh... I know, I know what plates are. This is and what I, I don't understand. Are. This is what I don't that... understand. Like when I'm hungry, I want to freaking eat. I'm not going to be like, Oh, where's my cedar plank? Like I want to <laughs> freaking eat now. <laughs> Like, where's I mean, if it's five o'clock on the dot? I need to have something in my belly immediately. I, so, is a cedar it, is a cedar plank? Does that act as a plate, or is it a cooking? Do you cook on it? I was going to ask, how does it fit in the microwave? <laughs> I think because I'll uh, say number one, you're asking the wrong guy. But I think you cook it, uh, cook it on the cedar plank on the plank. That looks like a loaf of bread for those of you on. <laughs> for those of you on Spotify. Bobby's got a picture of a blackened Atlantic salmon over cedar plank. 
It looks like it's just on a cutting board. So do you eat yeah. the cedar plank? <laughs> I think it's no, you don't eat the cedar plank. It's wood. <laughs> I, obviously, but read. Serious? Scroll down. Scroll down. Stupid. Read it. Read it again. Over cedar plank, like when you when you say like uh, this is my uh, black and black and pork chop over mashed potatoes. That's you over. You put it over something else you're gonna eat, like over cedar plank. It's, it's just it, on a cedar plank. I think it's actually supposed to. I think the I think the cedar right. plank gets that uh, like that oak finish. finish. It, it, it gives you a uh, salmon smoky. Yeah, yeah, it's a little yeah. smoky. Like Jamie it said, hey dude, just get me, me tornado. <laughs> inimitable rope. Just get some Easy Mac, bro. Inimitable <laughs> aroma and flavor. Imitatable. Uh, I don't know. Just uh, get some Easy Mac. Some tuna in a can. Here we go. Since steam, listen, listen. Since uh, steam from the cedar thing. plank will rise into the fillet. There you go. What? Salvi agrees. That's ridiculous. Before, Just, so this is this is this is what he was at. Asking Anita whether he needed to soak his plank, and so yes, <laughs> so before grilling, and... <laughs> he's gonna have to soak his plank after uh, some of those weekend nights. Uh, uh, never mind. I, I... <laughs> Shame. Uh, yeah, that's, that's... Shame. That's... Shame. Do I? I wish I could soak my own plank. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Assuming the Lord is my I'm, shepherd, he know what I want. I'm assuming you don't rinse the the cedar plank with. So I assume you don't use soap on it. Um, I assume it's like a piece of stone. I don't even know if you reuse them. them. I don't even know if you reuse them or if they're one time use only. No, I don't I'm know. sure you reuse it. That's the um, wrong guy. I'm the guy that uh, can barely make uh, spaghetti and meatballs, meat sauce. And he's soaking his Damn. plank. He's like a coke so He's a, a cork soaker. <laughs> Cork soaker. <laughs> He's a cork soaker. Dude, I don't think it's I've ever lived on my own. Like completely on my own, much less in a city, so, brand new city. So even when I lived on my own in college uh, with Anthony Paris and uh, Michael Guastello, I didn't cook. Anthony did all the cooking. So he cooked I've for never, you. Sounds about right. I never cooked for myself. He, like he cooked um, for you. Like, did he present the plate down and put the napkin in your lap, or like? No, he I, made he, dinner he goes, for. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, kind sir. Oh man, how many will be dining this evening? <laughs> He's like the yeah, uh, I, uh, Justin Bieber girl. Uh, I, I have to give him credit. He, he would make. Uh, Basta with peas and pasta. Pork we chops call it pasta. Pork chops with Spanish rice and did apple sauce. Sugu. That's well. Did you have sugu or spaghetti sauce? I'm sure I had sugu at some point. Well, sugu. I had. Was that just got a lot of sugar in it? I don't, I, I don't know. I lived. I think I lived on my own for the first time. Well, Jamie, you and I were roomies for a little while. You were never there. Uh, that was the best. So, so who cooked? That's kind of. Uh, How did we eat? Did we just go over mom's? No, I think I learned. I That was when I was real young and I was interested in like, let me figure this out. But no, it was a lot of uh, Stouffer's Salisbury steak. Uh, it's still basically my what I still eat now. It's the um, instant mashed potatoes. Stouffer's Salisbury steak. Maybe I'll get a lasagna. A lot of things that you just put in the oven for an hour and then wait for it to be done. Yeah, the oven. Um, the oven's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, yeah. You just throw the stuff in there and it comes out as food. So yeah, uh, it's pretty yeah. cool. You had an air then, fryer yet? Yeah. So I'm new yeah. to the air fryer world. Those are kind of amazing. Dude, you can cook anything in there. Yeah. I saw I saw a funny meme, and I don't know how this will go over me explain it to you guys, but you guys don't watch the bear, but it's the chef. It's the bear. Yeah, the guy in the kitchen, the chef, the main character. But it says, like, it's a picture of him, and it says, how I feel when I take the air fryer tray out and shake it after half <laughs> with a minute left or something like that. Yeah, you feel like a cook. You're just shaking it and, you know, moving things around. And, yeah, I love my air fryer, man. Thank you to Miranda. She got me one. Miranda and James got me an air fryer for Christmas this year. So. 
Uh, it's been a pretty, pretty good, pretty good deal. So, yeah. So now, yeah. so now I go to Sam's and buy like the big mega packages of French fries and mozzarella sticks and all this horrible stuff. Just yeah. Because it can all go in the air fryer. Yeah. How did, and That's since we're talking do. about food, hey, so, since we're talking about so food. So hold on, hold on. Before we move uh, on, before we move on though, uh, Andrew, you lived on your own too. So did you do your own cooking? Um, I, <laughs> well, no, I, um, I mostly ate McDonald's uh, because at that time mm. they had the value menu. And so I could go to McDonald's pretty much uh, on $5 a day. And, and yeah, that was not bad. Well, so just bad for me, but it wasn't a bad way to, to just. Right. I'm yeah. back to living on my own now. And I eat out every single day of the week, I believe. Um, oh, I right. think I've had. I've had meat like ground beef and chicken in my freezer for probably two months. Like I just, because it just doesn't. So I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I don't really want to cook on any of those days work. Just, we work 11 to, you know, whatever, 11 hours a day. I just, I don't feel like cooking, but then my first day off is Tuesday, which is taco Tuesday. And if I don't, you know, take advantage of a taco Tuesday, I'm losing money. It's, it's such a great, so, so there's taco huh? Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I pick up Macy, and we usually hit McDonald's or Jersey Mike's or something. <laughs> and then Thursday, I'm too tired to cook, and I got to get ready for work on Friday. So I don't cook ever anymore. Ever. At all. I Zero know what healthy is. <laughs> I know what healthy is. Uh, now that I think about it, too, in college, I used to do, I used to do ramen um, and then uh, pasta roni. So like, you know, just a, bo a bucket of, you know, or in a bucket, a box of the pasta, you mix in the whatever flavoring packet, right. but you could get yeah. fettuccine Alfredo, you could get angel hair with herb or whatever you could get like lots of different, there was a lot of variety, even though I was mostly just eating uh, either pasta or McDonald's, but I would I walk to McDonald's. Angel hair. So you get your exercise. What is it? Yeah. I don't so know why do they call it angel, angel hair. hair? Because it's very thin, like oh. an angel's hair would be. It's very, it's very angelic. Hmm. Okay. Few silly Jerry. <laughs> so why it's is it silly. angel food cake? Or what's angel food cake? Yeah. But what's devil's it's food cake? Oh. If you get an angel food cake, ask. if you if you get an angel food cake and a, <laughs> is there such thing as a devil's food? And you ate them together, would it just be like a? A be, war for the ages in, in your stomach? That'd be weird. We should try that. You'd be in purgatory. Guys, talking about food again, man. Didn't angel <laughs> angel food cake is basically like eating a sponge. Am I right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's disgusting. But, but you know what's really good, though? No, is good. I like it. Um, Katie's family, at, on the holidays, they do custard. So, you know, like frozen custard. But this is like regular custard that's basically like a thick, creamy milk. You know, Ew. but it's it's like or like ice cream that's kind of melted and it's a little thick. Anyway, that's you take the angel said. food cake, you take the angel food cake and dip it in that. That's what you want to do. Trust me. Really, it's so good. I don't like I don't like angel food cake on its own, but th that that way is incredible. I, wow. I like it's angel food cake by itself. No, it's disgusting. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's very dry. I like. I like uh, chicken fingers. Yeah. I'm going to run a train on these chicken fingers. I'm just going to be like... <laughs> you beat me too because I was going to play that. I was going to play that. The only reason, why, only reason why I said I like chicken fingers. But anyway. So speaking of so what are your uh, desserts, um, I had uh, Sam's uh, pumpkin pie for the first time this uh, this season. They came out with them this week. This season, so the holiday season. I was up there. Yeah. Yeah, so I was yeah. apparently Crystal found out for me that uh, they on September beginning beginning in September they start with the uh, pumpkin pies. So I've had my first. I'm like halfway through it in Jesus. a little over 24 hours. Um, well, that's, yeah, that's like, yeah. I that's mean, like everywhere with pumpkin because that's when that's when Starbucks started the yeah. lattes. Uh, I just today even I just got a free pump 12 ounce pumpkin smoothie from smoothie king like they it was their you know our new fall smoothie so here's a free one and as much as i love pumpkin flavored i, I wasn't a fan of that personally but i'm 
I'm counting the days on my calendar. I keep checking when Andy's uh, Andy's frozen custard has their apple pie, uh, whatever their thing's called. It's an apple pie custard thing. Oh my god! I'll be there literally every other night. Like I love it. It's so well, good. Freddy's had that pumpkin pie concrete that I used to love. Yeah, uh, it's really good. Uh, is the only yeah. thing I'd ever go to Andy's for really. And then it <laughs> got too expensive yeah. though. But yeah, yeah. I have I've had like yeah. a knot in my stomach for the last 24 hours because of just all the pie I've eaten. Um, you better not mention that again. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, no, I picked it up. I went, when I picked up the dogs from the groomers, I went and got a, I stopped by Sam's to get a pumpkin pie. Cause I, I had like, it, it tastes like nostalgia for me. Like it's just, I have to have it. And I mean, so much so that I knew I was going to pick up the dogs. So I took a fork with me and had a little bit in the, in the Jeep, yeah, it was it was intense. Yeah, I did. That's that's plan A. Yeah, yeah, because I knew wow. well, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna go home. I wasn't gonna go home and eat and then go get the dogs. I was like, I'm I'm doing this. I'm yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm telling you, my, man. I have a problem. My favorite thing about that was that his 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 connection was starting to go bad, and we were starting to lose him a little bit. But then all I heard was, so I just took a fork with me. <laughs> and that's all I needed. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. Yeah, uh, I was prepared. I don't know what healthy so. is. Nice. That's crazy. Anyway, hey, yeah. when did you take your dogs to the groomers? Because I need to get my dog to a groomer. And I know you've told me over and over we could do this off the air, but the yes. I so I tried one of the groomers that was suggested to me on Facebook. And I don't know what they did to my dog last time. They made her look like a, they did like a lion tail. Like they put like lots of fur on the end of the tail, but shaved the rest oh. of it. And then they did something to her face to where she looks terrible right now. But I mean, it's starting to grow out. She needs the bath and a shave anyway. So let's see. Do you, really, do you really care what they do to your dog? Like me, I'm just like, take as much hair off of this thing as possible. I don't care if they look like hairless cats or what, but if it means I have to take them to the, groomer less often great yeah it's an ugly dog <laughs> that is an ugly dog <laughs> she looks the same i think you're an ugly dog um yeah i don't care dog. they'll ask me they'll, they'll ask me like well what do you want done i'm like dude i don't care just make less hair is what i want done like just do less um but then this time they took it upon themselves to be like artsy this was my first time at this place and they were, um, uh, we don't need to discuss <clears throat> where, or who it was sure. or what they were, but they took it upon themselves to be like artsy, like, oh, let's create like, and they did like, they left hair, hair here. And, um, like I said, they did something funky with the tail and I'm like, no, 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 look, just, just shave or quit being cute. Like quit acting stupid basically. Uh, so anyways, gotcha. I'm looking for another one. I'm going to try another one up here in the Northland. So yeah, sure. We'll see. But anyway, right. sorry. All right. Well, a couple well, of things here. Um, are we all finished talking about dogs? Yeah. I, I did want to ask. Say... No, well, I was going to change the subject. I was going to say, we we um, we um were planning on talking about the Mizzou trip you guys took last week. Oh, uh, yes. Which is, back, which is back to the football topic. I was going to stop you, but you were on a, a full head of steam when you started talking about Dallas. But, oh, uh, that's right. Yep. No, that's that's a, a, that, that would have been a perfect segue. Yeah. No, we we uh, we did our first uh, trip down to Columbia for a Mizzou football game. That was for the home opener on Thursday night. And give us the we roster. Were, give us the roster. Who all went with you guys? Uh, so it was me and Tomas and uh, your son, Manny, uh, Jamie and Quentin and Crystal. So there was, what, six of us? Um, seven? Um Seven. And then Z Xavier was already down there, so he was uh, the seven. Yeah, but we never even saw him. Xavier was the yeah. But what oh, we did is really? uh, this year we got uh, season tickets in the upstairs section that includes unlimited hot dogs, so, hot dogs, Lizzie's. popcorn, and soft drinks. So, so they call yeah. it the Glizzy Goblin section. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, so we get there, and in true Paradis fashion, we're uh, on our way to our seats. We get our wristbands that entitle us to unlimited concessions and then uh we proceed to each grab two hot dogs even crystal who isn't even uh 
who's uh, I think she's vegetarian, but she grabbed two hot dogs as well. Then, well, describe the setup. Then describe Crystal, the setup. You you describe it. What am I missing? So um, as we're as we're going to our section, they have like tents because because it's unlimited hot dogs, like certain things. They have right. the hot dogs set off set up like off to the side, they have this warmer and it's just like tons and tons of hot dogs. And so people come by and like, Hey, uh, give me two. And they just start handing out hot dogs. So as we're walking by this concourse, we pass this tent and the first everybody's tent. like the first tent. Yeah. And everybody's just like, I'll take two. I'll take two. So we all had two, whether we were going to eat them or not. So everybody had two hot dogs. Well, but was two the limit per trip. I think so. I, I yeah. think so. I don't know that anybody yeah. ever asked. I didn't see anybody go up there and ask for three. So I think it was, it's sort of like two is like the limit, I think. So, okay. Proceed. Yeah. But so we each come back. Yeah. yeah. And then, we, so we proceeded to keep going on that concourse and we come to another tent. And so we all just hand well, our we, hot dogs off to like see. Manny or whoever <laughs> and get more. Yeah. So yeah. some of us went back through the line again and gave their hot dogs to other people that waited along the uh, the wall there and uh, went through and everybody got two more as well. So that by the time we go to our seats to sit down before the game starts, we probably, honest to God, had 20 hot dogs between us, um, at least 20 hot dogs. So yeah, there we are. Has- I mean, it, it was a hot night too, so we're, we're sweating, but there we are just gobbling our glizzies. Uh so I'm very aroused. The funniest part, though, was about the after the first quarter. We start to hear word that they are all out of hot dogs and they may not be getting any more. So part of me starts to feel bad about the fact that we took 20, 25 hot dogs before we even sat down and they are now out of hot dogs. Okay. At what point? At what point was it they made that announcement? I, I, it was here. Barely, people, the game had barely started. I think. I mean, oh, keep in, in mind, my mind. Keep in mind. <laughs> keep in mind as the as the ball is being kicked off, opening kick. I am polishing off my fourth hot dog. Like, I, yeah. So, <laughs> so go ahead. I mean, it was like a it was like a video game. Yeah, we are eating these things left and right. I mean, you had me. So, Kiyoshi, Kobayashi and Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. They didn't have anything on us. We were putting away these. We want so, food. Uh, we start to get word though that yeah, they're out and they're they may not have any more. They may be out for the entire game. And I'm like, dude, this is really poor planning on Mizzou's part to be out of hot dogs <laughs> after the first quarter. How dare to not they? expect to not expect fat asses to come in and stuff our pockets. <laughs> With glizzies, like so we're planning. Bobby and Tomas <laughs> pull theirs out. Here comes fourth quarter, and they start pulling oh. out these cold hot dogs that they were saving. And no, I'm no, like, no, what no, are no. You doing here, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I'm in pain. We but. weren't saving those. Let me let me back up because you're missing some part of this. So, so okay, there's these kids in front of us that are with their their dad, and the dad hands the kid a box of popcorn. Mind you, that popcorn's stale, but anyway hands the kid a box of popcorn and says, and w- loud enough for, for me to hear, they're all out of hot dogs, son. So now I feel a little bit bad that this little boy two or three rows in front of us didn't get a hot dog, mainly because the Paredes crew had That's, 20 to 30 that, hot dogs of our own. Isn't that a sin? Isn't isn't that gluttony? Isn't that... Yeah. Um... Well, hey, might, hey, might be, as, but, as, but if you divide the 20 hot dogs among the six of us that were there, maybe it's not as bad. Lord have mercy. As Teresa, as Teresa Paredes would put it, you snooze, you lose, right? That's right. So then, so, so, we've learned. so hold on, so hold on. So then about somewhere mid, mid third quarter, again, because we're now of the mindset, they're all out of hot dogs and there aren't any more coming back. About third quarter. I see a kid coming up the stairs and he's got a hot dog. He's got the metallic. Get him. I'm like, <laughs> no, no, I'd not get him, but I'm sitting there going, they've got more hot dogs now. So I proceed. I mean, it was a blowout. Mizzou was killing him. I proceed to go down there and that's when I grabbed like two or four more. And those were the ones. David, <laughs> that, uh, 
two or four or eight. Two more. More. Check this out. Whatever. Game's in like the fourth quarter, like maybe late third, early fourth. And I go to I go 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 to the bathroom, and as I'm coming back, I walk by the tent. You know, that time the you know the place is cleared out pretty much, and so this guy's standing at the tent that was there at the beginning of the game. He must have recognized me as being that hog that came up asking for all these hot dogs, and he goes, "We, you, you want a hot dog? I, it's the last one. I no bun though." And I was like, oh, "How do you not work out the hot dog to bun ratio ahead of time?" And I'm just like, "No, nah, man, I'm good." Um, Don't you normally I run out carry of a wiener buns? in my hand up the stairs? And, wouldn't you know, be just the first time. Hey guys, I got a weenie. What's yeah. that? <laughs> wouldn't be the That's... first time you carried your weenie in your hands. But anyway. Yeah, but normally, don't you run out of hot dogs before you run out of buns? Like usually you have a think. plethora of buns. But well, I guess unless you're what? unless you're uh, Rudy throwing a uh, family get together with no buns. Did they, what, did they have mustard? They did have yeah, mustard. I did have buns. Yes. But anyway. They had plenty of mustard. Although that well, mustard do... looked like uh, looked like quick creek coming out of like a, a cock, cocking gun, <laughs> like it, it, it did not look good. <laughs> quick, uh, anyway. I I do feel like you know most hot dog bun packages come in eight, and then unless you're getting like a big jumbo pack, like if you just get like one little one layer of hot dog package, that's usually like six, I think. So right away you're already. The math's not your right. ratio is off. The hot dog community should come together and, yeah. and figure that out. I think like sell a big Yeah, because you can't buy one package of buns and one package of hot dogs and be okay. There's gonna be you're gonna be off. So yeah. I don't know. These glizzy, glizzy what? people need to I, figure that out. I, I understand how um the hot dog eater contest people do it. Um because when, once I stopped after that fourth, we had no more hot dogs, so I had to stop. And then it just started like the knot in my stomach. It was like it was growing. And it was just like, oh, like I had to. Keep they got in there. I was gonna keep going. They started expanding in your stomach yeah, and you were going to explode. I think it's almost like, have you ever done uh, all you can eat pancakes at, at uh, IHOP before? Well, they come out and they bring them so slow. It's like, you know what you're doing to me. You're going slow. So the couple pancakes I have in my stomach, they have time to swell up and like, make me miserable. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. So I think what we determined was that uh, Quentin set the record. I think he had five. five. Yeah. Jamie had four. And a box of popcorn. And then uh, I had three. I think Tomas probably had three as well. But uh, yeah. So respectful. it was, I will say it was poor planning on Mizzou to not think five hot dogs per ticket we've sold. You know, that's now, terrible. Keep in mind, too. Keep in mind, these hot dogs are not like uh, you get at dollar dog night at the Royals game. These are some fat old hot dogs, man. These oh, some really? I was ex- they, they got like they got like a big little kick to it. They got a little spice to them as well. No wonder really? Jay, he loves big big wieners. Yep. Yeah. You know what? And I'm actually uh, here. It is only uh, Wednesday night. I'm already getting excited about Saturday because uh, we're going back for game two, and yep. I'm getting more hot dogs. More- more wieners in your mouth. That's what she said. Awesome. You know, when it gets colder out and you guys have big winter coats on, more oh, room for wieners. Look out. We're just going to unzip the wieners coats. inside your jacket. And... So, up. who is it the same? Is it the same group going? Manny is Manny going this weekend? With Manny's, uh, I think he said he needed some advance notice. Uh, I think he's working, so he's not coming. I don't think Crystal's coming this week. So, might just be the four of us, me and Jamie and Quentin and uh, Tomas. So, do you guys have an extra ticket or no? How many how many season tickets do you guys have? We technically between me and Jamie, we've got four, and then if you count the two that Xavier has, and I, I mentioned earlier, Xavier's just moved to Dallas, but he is going to use some of those. Um, he he has two season tickets as well, so technically we've got about six at our disposal for every game. Okay. Uh, but for some of the more popular games, he, Xavier's coming back, or you know. Those tickets are already spoken for. So, uh, but yeah, this is game two uh, at Mizzou in Columbia. So we're going to be heading down there sometime Saturday. Um, do a little tailgate. Who are they playing? Who are they playing this week? Is it Boston College? The Buffalo the Buffalo Bills. Bulls. 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 Yeah. See, that's always trips me up because the professional team is the Buffalo Bills. The college team is the Buffalo Bulls. Bulls. Yes. So it should be another win. Jamie, can you put put 20 down on Yeah, it's got to be your bull. We do not promote gambling on this show. 
Um, okay. Um, what? You know what? what? Yeah, let's let's give that that quit acting stupid award out because I got a That's... I got a bone to pick. Yeah. All right, go for it. Well, I know Jamie would like to give it to T Mobile, but yours is also in the same realm of uh, service providers, correct? So I don't know whether I'm an idiot or what, but I still uh, have. Oh, I assure you, you're an idiot. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm a direct TV subscriber, and um, this week I was informed that there is a dispute between direct TV and Disney, which is causing me to not have access to any of my ESPNs or my SEC network. So how how do you do that? I, I want to give the award both to Disney and to direct TV. You idiots are fighting this out, and yet I, the subscriber, the one who faithfully and dutifully pay, pays my bill every month, I'm the one that's getting screwed here. So the two of you need to come together and figure this stuff out or else I'm going to have to figure out another option. I cannot go another, actually, since we were traveling last week and it really didn't impact me. I think the, the outage occurred, I think, on Sunday. So again, we weren't home, but uh, I will not go a full weekend without college football. Um, I've technically found a workaround for the time being, but I want to give that award to Disney and to DirecTV both. I have voiced my frustration. They've given me a $20 credit for the next three months. They've given me a $15 credit for the next six months. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. I don't need all these credits. Just give me my freaking ESPN back, guys. I mean, this is stupid. So I don't know. I may have to uh, make a switch. Uh, but yeah, for for that, um, quit act, you know, Disney, DirecTV, quit that that's stupid. Do they have many people? Are, do many people still have satellite TV? I mean, hasn't haven't most people moved on to something more probably, modern? Probably, but I've got uh, it was something I did when we first moved in here because I've got I don't know eight, nine, ten TVs in ah, six, seven, get different, up, get up. Oh, seven different I got, rooms. I got ten TVs nine it's, times. Seven different was, rooms, and uh, it's the easy. I mean, it just because my in laws live with us. I mean, it was the easiest thing at the time, and I made anyway. our Richie Rich Ooh, nine TVs. Well, if it, you when it when it works, it works. I've got my DVR. I've got all my channels that I want. I've got all my movie channels. I've got everything I want, except when they go and take it away from me, like like they're doing now. I've got. I think we've discussed this before. I've got five TV. I've, I got a, I got a TV in every room in the house. Man, Ooh, my house is that big though. So, TV is like a light in my house. It's got to be on, and it's yeah. Yeah, see, so. that's the opposite in my house, and it is rarely the T. I've got what eight TVs, and they're rarely on. Well, now all these TVs have like backgrounds, like screensavers, where it's just like that's just a nice picture. Now it seems like I got yeah. a nice painting on my wall of uh, yep. beach. A beach very scene. artistic. Very artistic. Yeah, nice. I'll leave it on. I've got three TVs, but one of them strangely turns off, turns itself off after two minutes. Is I got that? Is, I got that one for free. So one of one of mine, one of mine. If 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 I'm not watching TV, if I have it paused for too long, pictures of Jamie's family come up on it. So I don't know. <laughs> it's terrible. Quit stealing, quit stealing our stuff that we're stealing from other people. Which is crazy because I pay for Amazon Prime myself, but I'm also logged into your Amazon Prime from before I paid for it myself, and I'm just too lazy to switch it over to mine. So. <laughs> hey, this this freaks me out. Every once in a while, my DirecTV receiver down here in my office will just come on. So I'd like to think that I don't have ghosts, but... Um, it will randomly, the box will just turn on. Well, there's no such thing as ghosts, first of all. So, okay. uh, Oh, there absolutely there's... is. What are you talking about? Well, I, I sense that's an episode for sometime in October. But... Uh, yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. What do you there. mean there's no but ghosts? There's no ghosts. Like, so so okay, there's aliens, yeah. but, aliens, aliens, but no ghosts? Anyway, we'll, we'll get there. Idiot. So do the ghosts like rattle rattle chains and just hang? Uh, okay, we'll talk about why that. Why have chains? My, why would, who sells ghost chains? Why do they have chains? Chains it's part of their like, unfinished business. 
the chains didn't die. Like, why? That makes no sense. Anyway, go ahead. Scooby Doo uh, on Scooby Doo, they had ghost chains. So I, I'm confused on the whole. Is it a pirate ghost or a ghost pirate? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, what I was gonna say though is, you know, your TV is watching you and listening to you, correct? But it's like not maybe. A Oh, you got dumb TVs? I've got nothing but smart I don't know. TVs maybe, in my head. Maybe not direct my TV. TVs, direct TV. My TVs went to college, so. Direct TV. Uh, more than we can say for you. are pretty old. I, went <laughs> to college. I did. I did. I went to college. <laughs> I, now, did I, fin did I finish college? No. You had, was, you marked some college on, on forms. On right. Some, right. Some college. I, some college. How much? So now you can't, you, you, can't, you can't say you're a college graduate. I, I'm a college Gagagawa. <laughs> what, what movie was that? That was um, was the comedian. Uh, it was a stand-up comedian. What's the guy's name, Andrew? He was on uh, Seinfeld. Right now. What was his name? Uh, come on. Long ago. I mean, I need more it, than just that part. I'm a tall guy, Gagawa. nerdy. Um, he was Elaine. He dated Elaine, but he couldn't remember who Elaine was. And she was upset that he couldn't remember because they had already met. Um, it's God. What is his name? Oh, are you, are you searching, Jamie? Yeah, I found it one time, and it's going to be impossible to find his, it. Again. I need more hints. His, I need more hints. It's, it's not uh, very funny. He's got. Though. I rewatched it. He's got. It's a, not very funny. The stand up. Yeah, the stand up's not funny. Yeah, probably not. It was yeah. probably funny when we were Pretty kids. Sure. Yeah, the guy actually bombed. He like really bombed. Hmm. But he was he was a famous. I mean, not famous. I mean, he wasn't Richard Pryor, but he was on the stand up circuit. We knew of him. I mean, um, and he he, he he was on an episode of Anything? Seinfeld. So we'll figure it out. And all the all the viewers just hanging they're on just, the. They're just screaming at their TVs right now. You know, like, how do you yeah, guys know. not know this? <laughs> it's. Anyway, uh, so real quick before we go, we will play our clip. Do um, you guys have what are your plans for the game tomorrow? Anything? Do you guys have anything special, or is it just watch it and uh, go to bed kind of thing? Uh, uh, it's one of two things. Either I'll have I'm going to watch the game with two buddies of mine, um, but whether we watch it here at the house or we maybe we'll go to the peanut. Those are the the options. The peanut. What peanut are you going to? Would you go to? Over like uh, near Parkville, going to uh, was it 64th and I'm not. I got to get more familiar with Parkville. I didn't know there was a peanut over there. It's not quite as far as Parkville, but it's going that uh -huh. same direction. When I when I frequent the the peanut on Martway, and I know there was yeah. one right off the plaza um, that was close to my when I lived on the plaza. So there's, I know there's a couple different peanuts, but so there was one downtown. I need to give a shout out to uh, my classmate, uh, Aaron Whiteside. He actually, I think he's the owner of at least the one on the plaza, I think. Oh, really? Nice. Class of, oh. class of 93. Nice. Very cool. Wonderful. Can you get us a hookup? Can you get us, can you get us a hookup on some wings? Probably haven't talked to him in 30 years, but you know. <sighs> they get, they get so much of my business during football season. I don't know why, but if there's a sporting event, I'm going to watch intently, but I also want to eat. I got. I, I, there's something about wings, like like yeah. traditional wings, where you're like ripping yeah. the you know, because it's, it's uh, yeah. I'm watching football. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm a man and I'm ripping the meat off the bone and tearing it like a it's animal. It's so dumb. It's so dumb, but it's true. Like I just it is. I love I love traditional wings. Yeah, and the, and and honestly, and this is a not to start this conversation at an hour twenty, but I think they got the best wings in the city, the peanut. But oh, I. Can I do. I have a wing stop, like literally walking distance from my house, so I might put in a little order there. So I have not been to that wing stop yet because we live pretty close to each other. I've not been to that one yeah. yet since it happened. That's I went good. there. I I went there. Um, I don't know if it was the AFC Championship game last year. It was a friggin' nightmare. I mean, it was. <laughs> I think yeah. you've told this story on this yeah podcast before. Probably, probably. I ordered them like an hour early because I knew it was going to be tough. I ordered them like an hour, hour and a half early, and you know, and then I went and picked up my pizza at Casey's. And then I went and got my wings, but the wings were just, I mean, there must've been 70 people in this lobby and everybody's waiting like a soup oh. kitchen. It was terrible. It was terrible. So I went home, ate my pizza, 
Then at halftime, I went back, got my wings. My wings were there. The place had cleared out. It was halftime. I got my wings and went back. Yeah, so. But anyways. That's uh, that's what I will say about the peanut is that they uh, handle the big game day crowds uh, pretty well. Like, I always call them in. If I'm going to watch the game at home but I still want wings, I'll call them in and maybe it's a half hour at the most. But Mm -hmm. I get there. You know, maybe it takes me a little bit to get to the front to pay, but they've got everything under control there. I, I really right, right. Recommend it. That's good. I have to, I have to check out Parkville a little more, but um, yeah. All right, guys. Um, I guess clip of the week. We F- probably F- should have. F- the- F- FYI, I just sent you guys that uh, stand up. His name is Fred what Stoller. Fred, Fred Stoller. Stoller. Yeah. Fred uh, okay. Stoller. So I was gonna guess knew- that right away. Okay, but uh, you said you said he was tall, and I, I don't know. I just he was that wasn't I you, the way you were describing him wasn't what I pictured, and I knew he was. I on knew you would. Belt, yeah, I knew you I would know, know who he was. Yeah, I was. Just, that was just going to be my blind guess too. Like, Fred Stoller. Yeah, because yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's very nerdy. Yes, very nerdy. So all right, well um, we can uh, we can save this uh, this TikTok thing for for next week. What was, was the TikTok great? thing? Was that the Chase Bank thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I need the, some more. The infinite money glitch. Basically what this, uh, I, I can talk about it real quick. Uh, yeah. Clearly you guys hadn't heard about it, but it's um, apparently on TikTok, there were young people going around saying that they found a quote unquote money glitch. And that if you just wrote a check to yourself and deposited it into your account at Chase, you could then pull the money out and then um, oh, that basically you wrote a check to yourself, uh, pull the money out. And even if you didn't have the funds to cover it, because uh, basically it was check fraud. But these young kids, my understanding is the, they were younger and didn't quite understand how check fraud works and thought that basically using the float of the time between you depo- when you deposit the check when it's presented at the other bank, um, you know, basically it's check fraud. So uh, all these people are now facing uh, uh, overdrafts in their accounts. I think they're facing some uh, charges. Well, good. They, they need to. They goes should to quit show you stupid. That kids are kids are dumb. Kids Shame. Are stupid. Yeah, I mean, they're really stupid. Shame. The the yeah. glitch in question here here it is the the glitch in question allowed people to withdraw large amounts of money from Chase ATMs taking advantage of a brief processing delay that occurred while their fake checks awaited verification. However, the so-called glitch isn't a glitch at all. It's both illegal and financially detrimental, as the banks as the bank wants its customers to understand. So apparently, this was popular on TikTok. Somebody sees it and then. Um, Starts trying to to do it. Uh, apparently, yeah, there were kids that uh, or young people that were uh, posting videos on TikTok, waving their quote unquote free cash outside Chase ATMs, and those kids, uh, those people, could be in serious trouble along with everyone else who tried to withdraw money using fake checks. I saw a couple TikToks with like the line in New York, like around the corner, for people lined up to try this thing. And then I saw another TikTok with a guy just crying that like, look at my account balance. It's negative $30,000. He was like freaking out. Like, what a moron. What do you think what is going to happen? Like, what do you, what do you, like, they're not going to know or not going to, like. Well, they think they got over. I, they think they figured out a, a quote unquote glitch, you know, that they well, were, oh, you know. Well, my favorite thing about it is just the, the social media age. It's like you could get a, you could do this, have this master plan, and what's the first thing you're gonna do? Put it on. So yeah, tell everybody. Yeah, tell yeah, everybody. This, they all told them on themselves. I mean, yeah. they're all showing the money and look. You know, here's all you gotta yeah. do to get free money from. Idiots. Back when back when we so, were criminals. <laughs> we yeah, just, I know. Steal old things, <laughs> people. Yeah. Ourselves. I could, yeah, I could go into some of that stuff, but um. I, I I sit here and I make fun of these younger kids for these stupid ideas and and trying these things and I think I just I think I got scammed uh, recently actually um, we could talk about it another time but um, <laughs> what a tease. yeah this is a juicy cliffhanger 
I thought yeah. you were gonna say, but I would have done it if I were, you know. No, no, I think I recently got scammed, and I think I'm too old to still get scammed. But like, I'm not too old to get, you know, young people get scammed and old people get scammed, and I think I'm still in the middle. But now I, I got, I think I got scammed. We'll see. Um, I had a little push from Miranda and Parker. They were just like, ah, just do it. It was only forty bucks. It was kind of, you know, but we could talk about it another time. All right. Because we'll see. Maybe, maybe I didn't. We'll see. We'll, we'll, I'll keep that in my back pocket. So maybe, um, maybe the, uh, maybe the, never mind. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, it was, yeah. I, he was probably going to okay. implicate himself. Like in something. Said, so let's, let's like, stop him right, right now. Let's yeah, stop let's, him. Let's, let's, I like if I stop said, myself. Go ahead. Yeah. I like if I stop go myself. Ahead as if someone was trying to interrupt him. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, okay, okay. All well, right, um, week. clip of the week. Oh, we didn't show this Texas Tech guy, but we could use that later. Um, in the in the comments, uh, people should probably put like what you got, what they think you got scammed by, or like what you ordered. Yeah, that, what, yeah. what did Rudy Audience. order that isn't going to come now? Yeah, let us let me know in the comments what you guys think. Your best guess. What did I order? And I'll well, the the dollar amount wouldn't even because that's why I ordered it. So just what did I order? that <laughs> i'm that is now causing me to get a new credit card again for like the second time in a month they're sending me a new credit card i actually called the credit card company and said well no i just think this 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 one is a scam and she's like yeah but they probably scammed you on that one but now they got all your information so now they're going to do bigger ones like she's like i suggest i'm like yeah i just got rid i just got a new card like literally two weeks ago because <laughs> i got fraud for things yeah, probably. Anyways, clip of the week, guys. I see you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? Because you're not. You could be drinking whole if you wanted to. So we missed <laughs> it. I don't know if we both hit it at the same time. Did we both hit it at the same time? Mm, we missed the it. very beginning. The very beginning. Hold on. I see you're drinking 1%. Is that because you think you're fat? Because you're not. You could be drinking whole if you wanted to. Still funny. Still I can watch it two times in a row. Yeah. What'd you say? No, I was anyway. say we saw the whole thing both times. Did you? I swear yeah, we yeah. missed the beginning where he said, so you're drinking 1%? No. Huh? All right. I feel like sorry that. you guys had this. Originally when you played that, I was like, man, like everybody's seen that. But I bet. A lot of our audience has not seen that movie. I guess it's I was, a lot do you older. Think, it's a lot older of a movie than I probably care to admit. I think it's, it's like yeah, I, it was. It came out when I was in high school, like two thousand. Bobby, I think you're the one. Were you, are you the one that showed it to us, Bob? And I'm yeah, like, I what don't is remember it? how I saw it or how I came about it, but yeah, I, I was. I'm pretty sure I brought it to everyone's attention. For you think, youngsters uh, out there, for you youngsters I, out there, let's just say it, it's Napoleon Dynamite. If you haven't seen it yet, go find it. It's totally worth it. But go ahead, Andrew. What were you going to say? No, I, say, I think I had seen it on my own because I think I had discovered it with friends again because it was just it was a big movie when I was, a, I think, a senior. Uh, but yeah, you uh -huh. probably brought it to the house. Like, yeah, I think it was uh, w that was during the time when I was renting a lot of DVDs and watching movies late at night by myself. And yeah. <laughs> Or, or you know what? I might have seen it on my own with friends and didn't think it was very funny and thought it was kind of weird and not good. And then when you were all for it and showed it, you know, stuff like that, it's a little weird off the beaten path. You got to see it twice to kind of. And it, I'll it, never. It, it was unlike anything that had come before yeah. it. So I'll never forget because Bobby's like, hey, you guys got to watch this movie. And, you know, my first thought is Bobby's not funny. He doesn't know what funny is. This isn't going to be funny. <laughs> And the opening scene where he has like the He-Man doll on a string and throws it out the bus window and just drags it. I, I don't know why that was hilarious. I, I don't, I don't know why it was, but I'm like, okay, maybe we got something here. So yeah, it's a good movie. Check it out. I'm talking to you, Crystal and Quentin. I'm sure you haven't seen it yet. So um, I even had a vote for Pedro shirt back in the day when those were, when those were cool, but when you get some <laughs> drops from, from that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I almost uh, God. There was one that I I was trying to cut, but I it was it was tough. For, for oh. football season, we need the football over the mountains. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw them. We need this one. Over. 
Vote for Pedro and all of your wildest dreams will come true. Yeah, of course, man. That's classic. But anyways, guys, um, all right. Let's yeah. uh, wrap it up. Hey, Game tomorrow. Go we got to get to bed. It's be the night before Chiefs. This time next week, we'll be 1-0. What was it, 28-24? That's what I'm, I'm, I'm going 28-24. I'm going to say 28-28-28-20. Twenty-four, twenty-three, Chiefs. Ooh. Oh Joe yeah, Biden. Chiefs. By the way. Yeah, Chiefs. I. I yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, there's <laughs> like, a lot of people saying that uh, money line uh, Ravens money line Ravens to win the game outright is the uh, is the call. So I don't believe it. But that being said, if if the Ravens did win, I, it's not going to like blow my mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Call call me in in November December and uh, you know. Yeah. As long as, as long as nobody gets hurt and everybody has fun. Then. As, as long as everybody has fun. <laughs> as long as everybody has fun, that's that's yeah. what I'm for. Let's all so. shake hands for the game. So yeah, I, will, I do want to say. They need to line up and say good game, good game, good game, good game. Good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. Uh, I do want to say good night to everyone except for people in Baltimore. So <laughs> Not a good night for them. Yeah. No, I hope they have a stinky night. <laughs> and, and, and win or lose, I'm still talking shit. Stinky nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Take us home. All right. Thank you for joining us once again for episode 39. We've got, uh, man, we're coming up on episode 50 here real soon. We're going to have to do something special. Anyway, for my brothers, uh, Rudy, Andy, and Jamie, until next time, quit acting stupid. And not to get into too much troubles, okay? <laughs>